Welcome to Fuji Wing YouTube channel. This video is a complementary to the medium story secure angle 11 with identity server 4 admin UI. I will go over the step described in part 3 configuring JWT access token or authorization. I will add an API scope and config role claims for inclusion in the access token. Then configure the client to use the new API scope. To navigate to the screen to manage API scope, you can get to it from the um, dashboard. API scope and click on manage here or from the client's resource menu and select API scopes. To add a new scope, click on the button here called add API scope here. I already add the uh, uh, scope for this tutorial called app.api.employeeprofile.read so let's go, I'm going to just go and click on edit here and show you the settings. So you get the names, display name, description for this tutorial. I've just used the same if, uh, call app.api.employeeprofile.read. And in the user claims right here, uh, I add row here so that it will be included uh, when the user requests the scope. Now I'm going to uh, go to the client screen and uh, adding this uh, new API scope to the client. So we'll go through uh, the menu here, clients, resource, and select clients. I'm going to do an edit of the uh, client ID here, employee profile, go to the basics tab, I'm going to scroll down and look at the allow scope right here. Well, I can either type it in, the uh, API scope in this box right here, or do a click on more plus right here, and then net, uh, select the uh, app.api.employeeprofile.read click on it and scroll down and click on save client I just add a new uh, scope to the client so now it's time to go to the angular application and uh, update the configuration to include the new scope uh, if you look at that line 11 right here, uh, the currently it's only have four uh, scope, open ID, profile, email, and roles. So I'm going to comment out this line and uh, uncomment the next line and just want to point out that uh, I'm, in this uh, line of code, there's uh, the extra app.api.employeeprofile.read in the scope field, uh, setting here. So with that, I go to uh, the Angular front end. I'm going to try to uh, see if uh, the row is going to show up in the access token. Going to do a logout first. And then log in. And now let's verify if uh, the uh, the rows show up in the access tokens. We're gonna do again to cut and paste the access token. Control C. And then we we'll go to the website jwt.io and paste in the encoded um, JWT uh, access token and let's take a look and here it is now the row 
claims coming through and show up in the access token. So where is this? Uh, how come we now that we have row and then the my row show up in here? Let's go back to the identity um, server admin UI. There is a menu here called user and role. So this is where uh, you can add users uh, to the system or you can manage uh, the roles. So right now there is one role called my role. Uh, when I l take a look at the existing roles here, let's go back to the user and uh, take a look at the, uh, the admin account. I'll click on edit here. We'll take a look at what role does this user have. So now you can see that uh, admin has a role called my role and that's how uh, this role show up in the access token. You can experiment this on your own by go to roles and add additional role to this. Um, for example, there could be role like uh, employee, uh, managers, uh, HR admin. You can do it through this role here. And just a matter of after that, go back to the users, uh, edit uh, an existing users, and then assign additional role. And then you can verify if those roles are going to show up in the access token. This concludes part three of the tutorial thank you for watching see you next time